Hey guys, I'm the EG here. Welcome back to another exciting episode of Phoenix, or did I just say another? Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. We're going to be playing the original. The first turnabout. Damn it! Why me? I can't get caught. Not like this! I've gotta find someone to pin this on. Someone like him. I'll make it look like he did it. August 3rd, 9.47 a.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby, no two. Boy, am I nervous. Right. Oh, well, hiya, Chief. Well, I mean, I'm pretty happy to be. Not everyone takes on a murder trial right off the bat like this. It says a lot about you. And your client as well. Um, thanks? Actually, it's because I owe him a favor. A favor? You mean you knew the defendant before this case? Yes. Actually, I kind of owe him my current job to him. He's one of the reasons I became an attorney. Well, that's news to me. I want to help him out any way I can. I just really want to help him. I own him. It's over. My life, everything. It's all over. Is that your client screaming over there? Yeah, it's him. Death, despair. Oh, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna die. My mouse broke down. It sounds like he wants to die. Um, yeah. Big. Dude, I'm so guilty. Tell him I'm guilty. Give me the death sentence. I ain't afraid of that. What? What's wrong? Oh, it's all over. I, I'm finished. Finished. I can't live in a world without her. I can't. Who took away from me? Who did this? Oh, dude, you gotta tell me. Who took my baby away? <laughs> I'm so happy to play. We play this game. Hmm. The person responsible for your girlfriend's death. The newspaper say it was you. My name is Phoenix Wright. Here's the story. My first case is a fairly simple one. All right. A young woman was killed in her apartment. The guy they arrested was the unlucky sap dating her. Larry Butts, my best friend since grade school. Our school had a saying, when something smells, it's usually the Butts. <laughs> in, the in the 23 years I've known him, it's usually been true. He has a knack for getting himself in trouble. One thing I can say though, it's usually not his fault, he just has terrible luck. But I know better than anyone. That he is a good guy at heart. That I, that 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 and I owe him one, which is why I took the case to clear his name. And that's just a, what I'm gonna do. August third, ten a.m. District court room number two. Dist or district court court room number two. I can't speak. Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Larry Butts. Prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The um, the 
defense is ready, Your Honor. <clears throat> Mr. Wright. This is your first try, is it not? Yes, Your Honor. I'm, uh, a little nervous. Your conduct during this trial will decide the fate of your client. Murder is a serious charge for your client's sake. I hope you can control your nerves. I hope you can control your nerves. Thank you. Thank you, Your Honor. Mr. Wright, given the circumstances, I think we should have a test to ascertain your re readiness. Yes, Your Honor. Hair shaking, eyesight fading. The test will consist of a few simple questions. Answer them clearly and concisely. Please state the name of the defendant in this case. Larry Butts. Defendant? Well, that's Larry Butts, Your Honor. Correct. Just keep your wits about you and you will do fine. Next question. This is a murder trial. Tell me, what's the victim's name? Whew. I know this one. Glad I read case report covers cover so many times. It's... Wait, no, no way. I forgot. Draw me to a total blank here. Phoenix, are you absolutely sure you have to this? You don't even know the victim's name. Oh, oh, the victim? I know the victim's name. I just forgot what the word is. I feel like I'm lying. Look, the victim's name is listed in the court record. Just press tab and check it anytime. Remember to check it often. Do it for me, please, Megan. Mr. Wright, who is the victim in this case? Uh, Cindy Stone, I'm pretty sure. Um, the victim's name is Cindy Stone. Correct. Now tell me, what was the cause of death? She died because she was hit with a blunt object. That, that's obvious. She was struck once by a blunt object. Correct. You've answered all my questions. There's absolutely no reason why we shouldn't proceed. You seem much more relaxed, Mr. Wright. Good for you. Thank you. Because I don't feel relaxed. That's for damn sure. Well then, first a question for the prosecution, Mr. Payne. Yes, sir. Yes, you are. As Mr. Wright just told us the victim was struck with a blunt object, would you explain to the court just what that object was? The murder weapon was the statue of the finger. It was found lying on the floor next to the victim. I see. The court accepts it into the evidence. The statue adds to the court record. Right. Be sure to pay attention to any evidence added during the trial. That evidence is the only ammunition you have in court. Use the tab. Yeah, I know. Mr. Payne, the prosecution may call its first witness. <laughs> the prosecution calls the defendant Mr. Butts. Uh, Chief, what do I do now? Pay attention. You don't want to miss any information that might help your client's case. You'll get your chance to respond to the prosecution later, so be ready. Let's just hope he doesn't say anything. Unfortunate. Uh-oh. Larry gets excited easy, easily. This could be bad. <clears throat> Mr. Butts, is it not true that the victim had recently dumped you? Hey, watch it, buddy. We were great together. We were Romeo and Juliet, Cleopatra, Mark Anthony. Uh, okay, you're getting out of here, dude. Um, didn't they all die? It wasn't dumb, she wasn't taking my phone call to see me ever. What's it to you, anyway? Or, what's it to you, anyway? Mr. Butts, what you describe- Or, wait, wrong character. Mr. Butts, what you describe is generally what we mean by dumped. In fact, she had completely abandoned me when she was seeing other men. She had just returned from overseas with one of them the day before the murder. What do you mean, one of them? Lies, all of it, lies. I don't believe a word of it. You want the victim's passport. According to this, she was in Paris until the day before she died. Passport added to the court record. Yay. Hmm. Ah. Hmm. Indeed. Er. Indeed, she had appeared to return the day before the murder. Dude, no way. The, vic the victim was a model, but did not have a large income. It appeared that she had several sugar daddy. <laughs> daddy? <laughs> Yes, older men. Yes, older men who give her money gifts. She took that money and used it to support her lifestyle. Dude. You can clearly see what kind of woman this Mrs. Stone was. 
Tell me, Mr. Butts, who do you think of him that? What do you think of him that? I, I don't think you want him to answer that question. Yeah, there he is. Why do you smell from the only one question? Should I? Stop him from answering. My client has no idea what the victim was seeing at the group. My client had no idea the victim was seeing other men. That question is irrelevant to the case. Oh, f it. Dude, Nick, what do you mean? Irrelevant. That cheating, cheating dog. I'm gonna die. I'm just gonna drop in. Yeah, when I meet her, I'm gonna get to the bottom of this. Let's continue with the trial, shall we? I believe the accused motive is clear to everyone. Yes, quite. Oh boy, it's not looking so good. Next question. Next question. You went to the victim's apartment on the day of the murder, did you not? Oh. Oh. Well, did you or did you not? <laughs> well, maybe I did and maybe I didn't. Maybe I did and maybe I didn't. Uh -oh. He went. What do I do? Honestly. I know. I'll send him a signal. Tell the truth! Uh, yeah, yeah, I was there, I went. Yeah, I was there, I went. Oh, the, well, Mr. Bot, Dude, chill! She wasn't at home, man, so like, I didn't see it. Jackson? Your Honor, the defendant is lying. Er, the defendant is lying. Lying? Prosecution would like to call a witness. The prosecution would like to call a witness who can prove Mr. Butts is lying. Well, this simplifies matters. Well, this simplifies matters. Well, what is your witness? Who is your witness? The man who found the victim's body just before making the gruesome discovery. He saw the defendant fleeing the scene of the crime. I bet you this is the guy who found the who killed her with a tanker. I think of her as a terrible person. Order! 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 Order the cause! Mr. Payne, the prosecution may call its witness. Yes, your honor! This is bad. On the day of the murder, my On the day of the murder, my witness was selling newspapers at the victim's building. Please bring Mr. Frank Sawit to the stand. Sawit, you're guilty! <laughs> I wish. Look at this smirk face. Mr. Song, you sell newspaper subscriptions, do you not? Oh, oh yes. Oh, oh yes. Newspapers, yes. Mr. Sawit. Wait, Mr. Sawit, you may proceed with your testimony. You didn't saw it? You didn't see anything? Please tell the court what you saw on the day of the murder. Witness testimony. Witnesses account. I was go I was going door to door, sending subscriptions with this old man fleeing in apartments. I thought he must be in a hurry because he left the door half open behind him. Thinking it's strange, I looked inside the apartment. There I saw her lying there, a woman, not moving. Dead. I quailed and thought and found myself unable to go inside. I thought to call the police immediately. However, the phone in her apartment wasn't working. I went to a nearby park to find public phone. I remember the time exactly, it was 1 p.m. The man who ran out, or the man who ran was, without a doubt, the defendant sitting right over there, filled with despair. Terry, why didn't you tell the truth? I can't defend you like a testimony like that. Incidentally, why wasn't the phone like I can't speak. Your honor at the time of the Your Honor at the time of the murder there was a blackout in the building. Oh phone supposed to work during a blackout? Yes, Your Honor, however, some cordless phones do not function normally. The phone that Mr. Sawit used was one of those. Your Honor. I have a record. Anyways, I'm gonna end the video here. See ya.